Hi, it's Amy Cassandra with the Red Carpet Report. We're at the premiere of National Geographic's The Long Road Home. You guys are very tall. We're very tall. We can slouch a little bit. Yeah. That helps. No, don't worry. You guys do you. Don't worry. I'll, right now, so. <laughs> I'll try to get taller. Um, there we go. Thank you. So I, I know it must be a little bit tough to be here, you know, talking about such a such a tough story. But what was what was the motivator getting through, you know, shooting all of this? Well, yeah, I think it is tough and it's, you know, especially tough for the soldiers that lived it and the family members who are here. We have a lot of Gold Star family members here who lost loved ones on the day. Um, that's extremely tough. But I know that we've been supported by the soldiers and by the family members since the very beginning because I think they know that this is a very important story to tell. And not just for the events of this day, but for the spirit of what this story is about, which is sacrifice. And it's the cost of war paid by individuals, not by organizations or political parties. It's paid by individuals. And it's the individuals on the ground, uh, on the battlefront. It's the individuals in the home front. It's the community members that are affected in places like Iraq when we go to war. It's individuals. And we want to get the uh, uh, we want to get the story back to a personal level because war is very personal, and uh, I think that's why these guys rallied around us, why the family members came and shared meals with us, and shared laughs, and shared tears with us throughout the production, and told us that they believed we could do it and that we could tell the story as well as we felt we needed to tell it, and uh, down to the detail. And uh, we believe we've done them proud, and so I couldn't be prouder to be here. Your thoughts. John hit everything perfectly, you know. That's one of the fantastic things about this, that everybody actually cares about it. So the things they're saying are from the heart. It's not rehearsed. It's not, you know, it's nothing. That they can speak about it naturally and plainly the same way I can. You know, I'm just, I'm fortunate people that will be able to actually understand what it means to serve on all sides. You know, family members are caught up in the ride along with it, same way the service members are. And so are the same way the people that are, you know, caught into the events that, you know, happen overseas. So it's just, it's great being able to be a part of telling that story and being able to commemorate, you know, my friends, the warriors that passed in this battle, because they're going to be known forever, you know. They're being put in a digital media, and warriors never die you know, as long as people still speak about them. So. Now, you guys shot in Fort Hood. Mm -hmm. What was that like? It was incredible. I trained in the very same facility that they trained prior to this deployment. So we felt an unbelievable sense of authenticity and responsibility. Add to that that this set was unbelievable. They built a set that was 12 acres large. <clears throat> it was 80 buildings. It was the largest set in operation in North America. And it was accurate down to the detail to the extent that these guys would tell us that they sometimes felt they were having a flashback to be on that set. Um, that they were able to walk through it and sort of relive the events of that day uh, almost in slow motion and um, we felt uh, completely supported but also challenged to, to the utmost to look if the production team and and the the uh, the writers and the network believe in this story to, to the extent that they're willing to give us this that the army is willing to donate what the army did because it was I mean their cooperation was unbelievable then we better rise to the challenge and I'd like to believe that we did and we, we helped tell a very important story um, you know, having Eric on set was incredible because he could walk me around and literally tell me, hey, this is how this happened. And uh, who gets that? Well, you know, that's an incredible experience for an actor. So uh, shooting in Texas, were you guys able to take part in the Texan cultures of breakfast tacos or? Well, I mean, this is a, this is a Texan through and through. Yeah. He was born and raised. Are you a Texan too? Okay, so this guy went tubing in New Braunfels went carp fishing with me in my fishing club. He got breakfast tacos. He got donuts at Round Rock. He got, he got the Texas experience. So we represented. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to us. Thank it's you. been a pleasure. It's really thank, a pleasure. You. thank you. What was your name again? Amy. Amy, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling us if you have a family member in the military.